today I'm just going to do a little uh, jelly printing. So I thought that I would include you. I've laid out some of this chartreuse green or bright green or whatever this is uh, before I got started here, before I decided I was going to actually jelly print. So this is my three by five plate, jelly plate, and it was quite dirty. So this is why I decided, now I usually keep a piece of paper of some sort, so today it's gonna be paper towel to wipe off my extra jelly roll, I mean my extra paint from my roller. And I just had these random pieces of paper on my desk, so this is an envelope. I think I'm gonna try this one. And I'm just gonna push down, and all I'm trying to do is lift up the junky old paint on the other, on the, you know, there's a lot of crustiness if you didn't notice on here. And I'm gonna hope that I can pull some of it off. I don't know if I can. But we're gonna try it several times. Okay, a little bit came up on this. You can see here. So a little bit has come up. So I'm just gonna keep trying and printing. So I have a bunch of different colors and I often do this because I'll use this in something. Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. So I've been this is a newer paint I've wanted to try. This is a small plate, so I don't put too much on here. I uh, just start with a small amount and roll it out. Now, as I look at this, this is probably not quite, oops, not quite enough. This is a little more sheer this paint you know it's a little more see-through not so opaque let's try it let's see how this does so the three by five is perfect for three by five cards so now i was hoping more of the background would come up oh i love this color you can see it did pick up some other color off of my plate I'm gonna keep going. The golden seems to be a good choice. This is a gorgeous color. Wow, do I love that. Okay, let's do another one. Maybe a tad more paint on here this time. You don't want it too thick because too thick it won't work. Wow, that color is stunning, isn't it? So, the nice thing about your jelly plates, whether you notice it or you know it or not, is that if you, now we're all guilty of not cleaning up our plates right away. Uh, but if you don't clean up your plate right away, you can go back and get the junk off by pulling prints. So this is just some scrap cardboard, some packaging, something came in that I have here. I pulled the box off and it's, very smooth on this side, but um, almost as if it has a finish. But the other side is very flat. Now more has come up. Oh my, do I love that. Look at these little green. So this is from my plate. This is from this corner. So I'm hoping to do some more. And every time I do this, more and more will come up. So I have these two colors. This is Quinacridone magenta, and this is turquoise phalo. I'm going to try this quinacridone. I'm going to have to get more paper here. But let's see what happens here. Oops. Again, this is just a small roller on purpose so that now that would be a maybe a little too much paint, maybe, on that one. Now you wanna pull these prints kind of fast, but at the same time, uh, you don't have to. It takes, a, these acrylics dry very quickly and they need to be wet for you to pick them up. Oh, look at that yumminess oh, with that green in there and the quinacridone. So I'm going to roll with my roller here because I don't want to get my hand all. Okay. 
painted. Again, more of this yummy green. This was the layer that was underneath this red. I'm just gonna keep pulling prints. So this is, these two so far are my favorites. Okay, I realize the camera's on and I'm not talking. That's a stunning color also. Now this is a little more, this shows a little more white in a very slightly red and green mix. I'm gonna try this one more time and I'm gonna actually take two cards and I'm gonna go this way with them just to try it. And let's see, do I want to keep trying? Let me try this again. I liked this color. This is the Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. Now that might be a little thin. So I might add just a little bit more here. When I say little, I mean just a tiny bit. Okay. So, I'm going to run this here. Just to clean off my brayer a little bit. I'm going to take a card and put it this way and I'm going to take another card you know there's no reason why I can do it over the lines by the way so let's do it both ways I'm trying purposely to get the edges so that's why I'm bending the cards a little bit as I go through because I really want that paint on the edges to stick there was two cards there I know people sometimes let these dry actually now. I've seen people let the cards or the paper dry. Wow. Can you see that? Holy cannoli. I could not love that more than I do right now. Look at that. I don't even mind with the lines running through it. But you can use either side. That is yummy. Look at these that we produced today. This one had another side to it. These are all scraps. So this is scrap paper that I had. You can see there's a little sheen to this. That's a gorgeous color. And with that green sticking through or that blue, whatever color that was. This one, look at this yumminess. This is a thinner layer of paint on here. But I can feel how rough this was and it pulled up a lot of that roughness now you can still see there's some here actually all around my plate here's the turquoise one this is that bright chartreuse kind of bright green you can see there's some color that poked through there so some of these paints are better than others for picking up that's just stunning to me even this mm. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna continue trying to pick up paint. We can see that there's, I'm gonna turn it this way. There's a lot of old paint here. I wanna try to get up all this old paint, as much of it as I can. Now, I've heard people say they clean these with baby oil. I had some mineral oil and I did try that. I have another side here of this. I'm actually going to try pulling on this side because I see some things on there I'd like to get off. So let's try this side and then I'm going to go back. Again, this is that nickel 
quinacridone nickel azo gold again. So let's do this. I'm just going to run this. Now, because I'm trying to clean, I'm not doing anything else other than plain color because I'm literally trying to clean my plate here. That is what I'm doing. Now, a smart person would, to prevent that from happening, put another sheet of paper over top. This is just a paper towel, as you can see. Goodness, this is a scrumptious color. Now, these are very cheap cards. They're almost just paper weight. But you can see a lot has come up off of that plate, even though I didn't think there was much there. So I'm going to try it again. I'm going to do more. Let's do... I'm doing another... That color is just so scrumptious I can't get over it. I'm not sure if it shows up, but... Get this little bit of turquoise here. Mm, it is yummy. Okay. It's such a yummy fall color, really, when you think about it. Okay. Now, I'm not making them two-sided because I might want to use these in my journals. Going forward, I might want to just use them as cards. I might want to see what we can get up here. A lot stuck there. There's still paint on there. So that probably would be a good ghost print. Let's try that. Let's see if we get anything else up off the ghost print. A little bit. Can you see? A little bit. So there's still a lot stuck here. I think I'm going to try. I think I'm going to go with the quinacridone magenta and try to lift another print off of here. Oh, that's a lot. That might be a lot. So I'm going to put this down. Now sometimes you can even use your brayer over top if you feel like you're not pushing hard enough. Let's see if we can get more off that way. So now there's spots where you can see this quinacridone nickel azo gold through here. That's actually stunning also. You might not be able to pick that up on camera, but you can see there's a lot left behind here. And I really want to um, clean that off. So let's try this. Turquoise. Let's see how we do with that. long because I think sometimes that's the problem if it dries a little bit my mat keeps moving so there you have it I'm going to try the white. And the reason
resin bean is maybe it would show more of what so this is a little bit of a thicker paint. You can see I've got some wet turquoise in there. So this is a little bit thicker and I'm wondering if it would pull up more of the paint. And I'm using my baby wipe on my roller right now because it seemed to be getting a little thick, but I don't want to let that dry too much. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I seem to have... So you can see where it did pull up some of the old color. I'm going to do more. I'm going to do one more. It did pull up some of the old color. It still has some of the uh, white color on it, but that's cool. And I love these little bits that are left from however long ago they may, might have been. So what happened was I had probably a really good jelly roll, I mean a jelly plate session, and it just kept drying on the edges. I almost forgot to turn my camera on, which surely would have meant this would have been the best print ever. So I'm glad I remembered. And still more, you can see there's still more coming up. Not the edges so well, but you can see these other colors are mixed in here. These are old that was left on the plate. All these colors are so stunning. These are golden acrylic. So they're golden acrylic and they're sheer, not so opaque. You can see the stripe through the swatch of paint so you can tell this is these are beautiful colors though i'm trying really hard to get the edges so that maybe i can get them to lift so let's do one and then the other. Ugh, more came up, not all of it. Let me see if I can rub there and get more. Oh, you can still see. Well, a lot of it did, is still pulling off but just not enough of it. But I'm gonna quit here for now and keep going. I love all these prints. What do you guys think? Yes, the colors are gorgeous. I love how they came out. I loved this color, the way that came out. There's more. That was an envelope. That was with the white, so you could see the old color that was there. That's interesting. And this was one of my favorite poles too. And this was the second pole. So I flipped it over and did the back of it. So these are all great poles. That was a great time for me. I still wanna to try to get this off, but I'm gonna stop for now. Okay, everybody have a great week.